Hello everyone. Do you know that the word ask is the most often used word in a sentence? Yes, we use this word practically every single time. Do you know a lot of my students make very common errors while using this word? Today, I'm going to show you how to place the word ask correctly in a sentence because believe me if you know how to use this word correctly a lot of your grammatical mistakes can be easily avoided so stay tuned with me this is Seema and today I'm going to show you the different tips that you can use in order to place ask in a sentence correctly <music> Then guys, the first tip to use the word ask in a sentence correctly is using the word ask and then you can use anyone. So someone in the sense you can use the word his or her or the name of a person, just anybody, okay, followed by the word for, followed by an object. Okay, now what does that really mean? I will show you through a sentence. Okay, so let's look at this sentence. It says, Ask her for a piece of paper. Okay, now when you are using the word ask in this sentence, okay, the word ask is of course a verb. It means that you are asking someone, requesting someone, right? It's going to be followed with a her or a his or whoever you are asking, okay? Which is going to be followed by the word for and the object that you are asking for, okay? Now, mind you, this rule is not only applicable when you are talking about a physical object, it could also be for something else that you can ask for. So say for example you say, ask mom for advice. Advice is not a physical object, right? But you can use the word ask in the sentence because you're asking someone, which is your mom in this case, followed by the word for and the object that you are asking for, which is advice, though it is not a physical advice in this example, okay? That's the first way you are going to use the word ask and apply it correctly in this kind of a sentence, okay? What's the second way? Uh, the second way to use this word is when you are going to talk about something. You know, we like to have conversations, we love to gossip, right? So, um, the second way of using this word is when you use the word ask, followed by someone, it could be the name of a person, it could be his, her, your, anything, followed by the word about, and then you're going to talk about any topic, anything at all. Let's look at a sentence to explain this and understand this more clearly. Okay, so I can say, I want to ask Jordan about his trip to Europe. All right, now we're going to talk about something. We want to gossip about something, right? Have a conversation about something. So you will use the verb ask, after which you're going to talk about someone. It could be, as I said, a name. It could be a his or a her. So ask Jordan about, well, what do you want to talk about? In this case, it is about his trip to Europe. Or you could say, ask your, mo your mom about her shopping spree. It could be anything, okay? So in this sentence, when you are going to use ask, and if you want to talk about something, it's always going to be in this kind of a format, okay? Um, the third way of using this very often used word in a sentence 
is by placing the ask and then you, you know, use a his or a her or anything, followed by a WH question. Okay, well, what is a WH question? For those who don't know, you can watch a lesson that I've made on WH questions, which include questions like how, why, when, where, who, okay? These are your the few WH questions, which maybe, we've forgotten which, okay? So let's look at a sentence that will help us explain, help us understand this much better, okay? Um, Ask Tim why he is so sad, okay? So, when you use a WH question, you do not need to use an about or a for after using the person that you are asking it to. So, we're asking someone, who is Tim in this case, we don't need to ask him for or about because now we're going to use a WH question right after we use his his name. So we say ask Tim why he is so sad or ask Ravi why he is not participating or ask uh, you know Sharon what is she eating, right? So this is another way to use the word ask, all right? The next way to use this very often used word is by placing the ask and then following it with the someone, like we've always we've already seen, followed by the if, but that's only going to be used when you are trying to get a yes or a no as the response. Okay, so this question that we are going to ask is particularly going to be for a yes or a no question. Can we see an example? Okay. Ask your mother if she is dropping you to the airport. Now this is a yes or a no question because the only response you can get from this question is either a yes or a no. So, you use the word ask, which is the, uh, the word we are talking about, and the someone, it could be anybody, in this case it is your mother, that is followed by an if, and whatever you are going to say at the end of the sentence is going to be a response which will give you either a yes or a no. So this question is mostly going to be a yes or a no question. Okay, so you've got to make sure you use this word in the right way, in this right format, okay? And um, oh, the final way of using the word ask in a sentence is when you use the word ask followed by someone, which could be anyone, you could use the word to or not to followed by another verb. Let's look at a sentence to explain this, okay? Ask her to be quiet. Okay. Ask is followed by someone, which in this case is her. It could be anybody, your sister, your mother, anybody. To, the word to. What are you asking her to do? To do something. So being quiet is a verb. So therefore you will use the ask followed by someone who you're asking a question to, followed by the verb to, and another verb, depending on what you want them to do. If you don't want someone to do something, you will say, ask her not to be quiet. So, you can use the word ask in a sentence, either with a to or a not to, depending on whether you want them to do something or whether you don't want them to do something.
okay? Well, this brings me to the end of this lesson on using the word or placing the word ask correctly in a sentence. I hope you found it very informative and I hope you are going to use it correctly next time you write that English assignment that you are given by your teacher. Well, you have a very good day. This is me saying 